Hello and welcome to another Star Citizen video. In this video, I'm going to show you how Star Citizen runs using Shadow PC. Uh, Shadow PC is a new um, ish uh, service that uh, basically runs a virtual PC for you um, on a remote server. And um, here's what it looks like. So you run the client on a local machine. Uh, so my local host is running this client <clears throat> and for somewhat ease of recognition um, I uh, included the uh, NVIDIA uh, FPS down in the bottom left corner here you can see the uh, FPS of the local machine um, provided by uh, you know, NVIDIA's overlay and then in the upper left of the client window you can see um, I have another overlay up there that's the the cam overlay from NZXT um, just to give you an idea of what the, the performance is like uh, how much video memory is being used um, how much system memory is being used and, and what the uh, what the clocks are like there so because Shadow PC is a hypervisor um, you're going to get a you know a slice of um, you know the overall um, system um, you know, CPU and, and memory and, and disk and you know it, it's it's fairly limited right now um, from a performance perspective because um, you can't increase the system memory for example um, you know the graphics performance you know seems to be pretty good. But, um, you know, it never quite makes it above about, what are we doing, you know, about, about 20, 21 uh, FPS, which is pretty bad, uh, considering I'm running Star Citizen 3.2.1 right now, the latest uh, build, as of uh, July 29th. And um, if you watched... Another one of my videos here on, on Star Citizen version 3.2.1, you'll see I typically get about 40 to 45 frames per second on uh, on my game rig. So this is kind of um, <laughs> holding both hands behind my back, tied, and, and maybe a leg. Yeah, I'm hopping around on one foot, you know, from a performance perspective. All right, let's hop out here. Decided to hop in um, uh, a 600i. Um, they're just one of the newer ships, so you know they're kind of nice. There's a crew port up there, but there's also a uh, there's an elevator here. <laughs> if I can only get inner, you know, up there. Sometimes inner thought doesn't quite get what I really want it to get and I can't tell if it's me like if I'm just not you know looking in the right place or was it where I was standing you know something I'm doing with my system or is that a bug or a feature if, if, if this elevator is supposed to yeah this one's supposed to come down oh there it is okay so the cursor changed finally um, the little, you know, circle reticle, you know, that indicated to me that, um, it was inner thoughtable. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's alpha. All right, and one click, <laughs> one time I sat on this platform, because, <laughs> you know, I'm an impatient user sometimes, and, um, so I, I clicked, nothing happened. I clicked again, nothing happened. I clicked again, nothing happened. So I rode this elevator up and down and up and down and up and down about six times before I figured, oh my god, i got to stop clicking. Otherwise, I'm not going to you know, get up into my ship. So I'm going to use the back, um, back lift here, the back elevator, um, to hop up to the top deck. I don't want to stick around too long. Um, I, uh, I actually have a whole video um, 
already uploaded with all of the uh, you know the tour of the 600i so don't don't use this as a tour of 600i <laughs> this this is solely to show you what the uh, gameplay is like using shadow PC and I'm gonna keep this in windowed mode as you can see um, oh yeah you can't so it's a little maybe this is a feature you can't enter the pilot seat from the left side you have to come in from the right side you know, that's facing out looking out towards outer space hey now we're in so I'm gonna stay in windowed mode here um, you can see um, I'm recording my entire desktop so you can see my entire desktop in the background there and I'm recording uh, my desktop is at uh, 2160p 4k uh, 60 frames per second, 60 hertz. Um, I'm using HDMI, sorry, wow, <laughs> DisplayPort 1.2 um, for the background. And then for the client here, takeoff. Takeoff's a little weird. Again, with, um, I think the 600i kind of dips down. It dips its nose down when you take off. Some ships don't quite take off like, you know, one level plane they kind of scoot around a little bit you have to be careful when you take off otherwise you'll you know hit your nose on the platform or something we're good though i'm just gonna um quantum drive, quantum drive. out to uh comma ray here and and uh, show you what it's like um so the I'm running Star Citizen at uh, 4K as well. This is running at, at uh, 2160p, and the the client uh, is also at 2160p. So um, everything you see here is rendered at, at 4K. Uh, I have the graphics set on high for this. I didn't have it set on super high because at super high the F FPS went down to like one or two. So I'm like. Yeah, let's just leave it at high. So basically, this is showing you like the best possible scenario. And weapon fire. You can see the 600i. Um, you know, it's got some energy problems right now. You know, it'll be balanced. Um, just <laughs> don't don't plan on taking the ship out with this build and you know killing a ton of pirates. Or at least change your weapons up <laughs> before you do that. Uh, or change your, your power supply up before you do that. All right, so we're just going to head back because uh, this is really not... I don't want to get in a dogfight uh, with, with, in this situation because I would, I would definitely lose. There's no chance to win. Okay, so all stars up off the planet. There we go. Right, chow. Spool it up. And um, mouse is a little wonky. Uh, I am using a keyword mouse in this situation just because I wanted to keep the number of, um, you know, control variants to a, to a minimum. So I could show you what, you know, the, the performance is actually like without any, you know, variation based on you know, what my inputs are. Um, yeah, so flight control is a little wonky right now for this build. Um, it's alpha. Right. I'll level out once I get into the armistice zone. They really reduced the size of the uh, armistice bubble here. And lots more planned. Okay, so uh, it is, you can see my my FPS dips quite a bit occasionally um, down into the single digits. So uh, this really isn't the type of performance that I would um, use for any kind of of real gameplay. I mean, if you just want to take a ship out and you know, hit a, you know, hit a moon or two, 
maybe a comm link or two and come back. All right, so let's go contact the landing services, get a landing pad assigned to us. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> Yay, it's the one I was right in front of. Awesome. Now, because the 600i is, is huge, you know, comparatively to most of the other uh, ships that are in game right now, um, it does get the uh, the big landing pad. And I'll use the automated landing. I prefer doing that. There's there's no way I could land without damaging this ship, so auto land is always the best option. Easy, easy. Uh, except, <laughs> well, it doesn't look like auto land wants to land me. Let me try. Um, I'm just going to hit the control key to try to bring my thrusters down. No? Oh, a little bit. It's working. It's working. We're making it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Nope. Nope. <laughs> well, let's see how far off we are here. Gosh, boy, it seems like every time I, you know, go to third-person view, the ship kind of lifts off the platform a little bit. Almost like there's something on the platform that I'm on top of. Well, let's just power it off and see what happens. Ah, see, there we go. <laughs> as soon as I power off, she lands. All right, whatever. We're going to hop out. And um, head out to the lift here. I'm just going to go to the first lift. This one's easier to get in and out of. Now, if I'd entered the ship from this lift, it would already be up here. I have to call it now. And I love the, the lit pad on the bottom. It's a great effect. So far, this this is my favorite ship, 600i. I mean, I like the Reclaimer and the Prospector, but man, this ship is sweet. Yes. Yeah, and we're still pretty clunky from an FPS perspective, so I wouldn't do any kind of. Um, well, I guess you can do an EVA, and maybe fly a ship around a little bit, but. You know, in the current state of things, uh, and this is just from a Run Star Citizen on Shadow PC perspective, um, use caution because this is what you're going to get. Now, again, it, this is the the top of the line. You know, 4K. I, I'm, I may be only on high graphics. Um, this is what you're going to get. So, you know, if you want to run it at, at 1080p maybe um, you know lower graphics setting overall you know your performance is going to be better than this and um, let me know in the comments below if you want me to try something else out you know um, I got the shadow PC account I got a star citizen account I got some ships you know let me know um, I'll basically you know do anything um, that anyone, you know, wants me to do within reason and legality. Um, just to show you running this at 4K. And uh, I do use windowed mode because, um, you know, every release is a little wonky, but, you know, windowed mode gives me the best performance so far. So thanks for watching, and I will hope to see you in the verse.